hello guys welcome back to another video so in this video we will gonna see how to create your own base map for any web gis application like in any web gis application we put some base map onto that and we overlay our data over the base maps so we use uh, different kind of base maps such as for s3 satellite base map or osm base map just like if you see on, on this screen so this is the osm base map this is the satellite base map and this is the osm india which you which you you will be able to see this is created by me only so what i have done i have downloaded the osm data from the internet for the india country and then we have i have basically pushed the data in, into the postgis database and then using geo server i have published that and we have i have styled it according to the like similar to the google map so basically we will see how to create your own base map basically data is yours because in on like from osm you are fetching it from the internet somewhere else but right now what we have done we have basically stored the data in our machine in our database and we are serving it through the geo server and we have styled it so i try to style it as close as possible to the google map so basically it's a combination kind of two things the data is from osm open street map data that is free and styling is like a google map as if you can if you see this is the google map of the same area so i tried to be as similar as possible so i took help of there is on github uh, this is the link for this basically someone has given for hungary country but i tried i have changed it according to the india country because scale and everything is different and also the layers are diff quite different so in this video i'll show you how to download the osm data then how to put that data inside the post gis database and then how to publish through geo server and style it basically according just like the google map and also after that how to serve it because the data is very huge so like if you which basically fetch the wms service regular it will be very slow so we'll use geo we will be using geo web cache or tile caching so the uh, basically it will fetch the data very quickly as you can see i'm zooming zoom out it is fetching pretty quickly so as you can see it is the coloring is quite similar to the google map so we'll see all these things how to do that as you can see i'm zooming out it is pretty quickly it is zooming zoom, zooming in zooming out so it is because of the tile caching we'll see how to do that also so this is the whole data for india as you can see so i have downloaded this from the osm website so let me show you how the data look like at that zoom level so we can compare between the data sets because the data is different google is having more detailed data than osm but i try to follow the styling of google map only as you can see right now this is and this is so i try to be as close as possible as you can see the road color, road color of the roads and other things is quite similar so we'll see how to do that so all the data is in my machine and i'm serving it through the geo server we are styling it through the geo server as you can see right now as you can you will zoom the coloring and everything width of the road and everything more detail will come so i have not used the point data like uh, osm data has point line polygon data so what i have done basically i have segregated those, those line and polygon data into different layers such as roads waterways rivers buildings etc so i have not used the point data you can use your point data also so that's why you are not able to see uh, hospitals and all that uh, point data basically you are not able to see because i have not published that but we, you can publish that data also so as you can th you can see it looks like uh, just like a google map so first uh, for that what you have to do you have to download the osm data so on google you have to go and just type osm data download and let me for india if you type so this is the website download.geofabric.de so you just click here and just open it so here you will be able to download for your country like directly it is coming for india so if you go up one level up so asia so like this for asia all the countries are there so you can click on the particular country and you will be able to download the data in different formats such as dot pba format dot shp dot this is the basically zip zip kind of format very compressed format so you can go further one one level up and you can download for you can select the region and then you can select the country or you want to download the region wise you can download the whole region so i'll go for asia 
then I'll go for India and here there is India latest osm.pbf so we'll be using the .pbf file so we'll import the data into the postgres database so you just click here you will be able to download the .pbf file like this so I have already downloaded it so I will cancel it so it's around 900 GB I'll show you this is the data .pbf file around 9, 924 MB or something this file is there now second thing what we have to do uh, we'll be using OSM to PG, PG SQL uh, software for that for importing the data so just write on uh, Google OSM to pgsql.org so we download here we have to go I think uh, you just go on the documentation and just click on the installation then installing on Windows so you you have to download the binaries so you can download you can download the pre-built libraries so just download from here and there is the different versions so just download the latest one osm to pgsql latest dot zip file so you will be able to download the dot zip file so i have already downloaded it i'll show you so this is the basically osm to pgsql uh, zip file so just extract it unzip it so after unzipping it you will get this folder osm to pgsql dash bin so after that what we have to do we will import that pbf file to the postgis database so for that you need to have a postgresql database download and post postgis extension also so if you don't have the database installed you can go through my uh, earlier video called webgis development from the scratch in that in the timeline of the video you'll see installation of the post postgresql and postgis database so you can go through and you can download uh, the uh, database and you can install as per the instruction in that video so I have already downloaded so you'll, you'll be able to see the screen this kind you have to just give the password to it this is the post postgresql database after that uh, the version 30 give the password and you have to create an empty database after that so further you, I will share this link also you can uh, take help of this link uh, basically I will give this link in the description so you can take the help of that also because I have followed this tutorial only I have tweaked few of the SQL queries according to the India and few like uh, CSS styling also I have tweaked it according to the India because scale is different and boundaries are uh, few boundaries are different so administrative boundaries the scale of the boundaries are different so I have tweaked it basically so you can take I will give this link you can follow this link also so after that here what you have to do you have to after opening it the like database just create any new database so let me like i have already created osm india so i just again create one osm just for the showing purpose then definition here you have to give template so when you install the postgres uh, extension of the postgresql database so it will ask you to create a template uh, database so if you have uh, created that so you will be able to see postgis sample just click that and table space you can pg default basically the it will take the uh, default space and just save it but if you don't you, you haven't installed that uh, postgis database sample so what you have to do only this you have to run create extension postgis so when the database is created after that you have to just run the query over that i'll show you how to do that so it is creating a new database so you have to create an empty database basically and that should be post specially enabled so like this is the osm database so if you don't you haven't installed the basically that post gis sample kind of thing so what you can do after that just right click query tool and you can simply run this create extension post gis so it will create that also but if i'll run it so it will say i think already extension already exists because i have given the while uh, while creating the database i have selected the schema of that database already so i will close it so now what we have to do we, we will run one basically command to basically uh, import the data this dot pbf file to the database so for that i have already written one command so this is the command basically let me you I will give this command in the description of the video let me zoom it yes 
So as you can see here, this is the command osm.pgsql. This is the local host. This is the port like I have installed it on 5432. If you're, if you're taking the default uh, port, so in your case, it should be 5432. When you install, you will be able to see on what, what port it is installing. So in my case, it is 5433. But if you're using the default port while installation, so it should be 5432. And this is the Postgres username kind of thing directly. And this is the basically name of the database. So like uh, what name I have given, I have given OSM only. So I will remove this. This is the database and here you have to give the path of where, where your, you have kept your PDF file. So I have kept it in the E drive. So I, I have given the path of that only. So just you have to copy this command. And wherever your folder is OSM PGSQL.bin, just here go in the explorer path. Just here type CMD. So this command prompt will open this path should come after that just you paste that command which you have copied paste here and just put enter so it will ask you the password of the database so you can give the password which we have given while installing the database and put enter so now it has started basically importing the data like setting up table so basically it will take around uh, for my machine it took around uh, Four to five hours so i will not we cannot wait for that so i have already imported just for the showing purpose i have shown you so i will cancel it basically so it will take four to five hours because the data is huge but i think for smaller countries it will take less time so i will cancel it okay so your final screen should look like let me show you if i have some sample yes as you can see OSMP SQL took that many seconds overall. So you should be able to see all post processing on the table. So it will create few tables in your database like point, line, polygon and roads. Four tables it will create finally. Planet OSM point, planet OSM line, planet OSM polygon, planet OSM roads. So it will create four tables. So after that only final uh, message will be like this only. So when it is used to see this, uh, this message, it means your data has been imported. So what after that what you can you can go to your database like i will not see this database because i have already imported in osm india so inside the schema you have to check only public first public schema and here select public and inside the tables so as you can see these many tables has been created line nodes point polygon rls roads ways so these many tables need to be created in your database it means you have imported the data so now what we'll do basically we uh, this data is like polygon is having administrative boundary building everything water forest everything is in polygon only and line all the roads and everything in the line and point all the points and locations are there so what we will do we will run some sql queries and we will segregate these point line polygons into the different different layers so we'll create around 20 layers so that query already have written so just you have to run it in the post js and automatically it will create And it will create a new schema called OSM. So what I will do, I will rename this schema because I will create a new schema named OSM. I will save it like this. Okay. So after that, now this there is these are the basically SQL. Let me zoom it a bit. These are the number of tables. Is this whole query you just copy paste and you run? So it will create 20, basically 20 tables. So as you can see, first it will create a new schema OSM. Like here it is schema are then that's why I have renamed it to OSM. So it will create a new schema OSM. Your uh, data is in public schema, so we'll create a new schema OSM. After that, it will create a amenity new table. And it will put data, it will take data from the polygon. And these are, these are the condition. Where it is college, community center, courthouse, all these things, it will put inside the amenities. Then buildings, it will create a new table buildings and it will use these conditions. Okay, where area is less than this. Okay. 
and for forest park this is the condition like greenery green garden reserve forest all these things it will put inside orchard park it will put put inside this layer forest park so you can modify this for lake also as you can see water and everything so these are the conditions for the minor roads motorway motorway link so these are very pretty generic for every country only you have what you have to change because i have modified for administrative boundary only because in case of administrative boundary it's different for different countries like uh, these are all settlements i have given something level 8 settlements and uh, this is trunk primary road this is water then waterway this is like for state i i have basically run some query on to the database to know that administrative level 4 is for state level boundary for india for district it is administrative level administrative level equal to 5 and boundary is, is equal to administrative then sub district it is this so like this i have basically for this administrative boundary only i have modified the sql queries otherwise for all the other layers it is quite generic for water buildings and everything it should be same for you only for your state maybe you may be having counties then sub counties or sub districts or anything so administrative boundary is different so you can on google also you can search osm data of country wise they have defined which level which boundary is there so i have searched on the google so i found out that at 4 5 6 the state district and sub district level boundary is there so i don't know where i searched but i think if you google it osm administrative level levels yeah i if you search this so you will be able to find something here yeah there is a, see this table is as you can see this is for country wise table so i for india i have checked here ghi as you can see here state boundary is level 4 district boundary is level 5 sub district boundary is level 6 so you can check here for your country what is the level for like for indonesia province is 4 city is 5 sub district is 6 then village is 7 so you can modify this here like for sub district you can change your level here because i have modified it so i have taken the code from uh, here only so for hungry country it was like 7 8 9 or something so i have modified i have modified it according to Uh, my data or else what you can do you can uh, check here also you can run uh, if you run any query tool let me show you you can check like this let select star from that um, this is this is the table name as you can see in the public if you go inside the public schema this is the polygon boundary where star means it will select all the columns where polygon dot uh, we have to the field name we have to give the field name so field name is this admin level so i will copy this so one by one by one you can check like this so let me check for four okay so i will limit it to okay let it run let it run so i think double dot yeah here it is double dot i will remove this and i will run this query so now it will what it will do it will fetch all the polygons from that uh, planet osm polygon table basically the data where administrative level is 4 and the boundary is administrative so here i have checked it uh, so you can see in postgis nowadays you can see the polygon shape also the geometry also using the geometry viewer so uh, you can check like this also otherwise there is this uh, this basically this table is given for every country so you can check there otherwise no need to modify other boundaries uh, because other are pretty generic so if you run 
if you're using for India data so you can just copy control a control C everything and you just run this over so as you can see this this is only this is for one table this is for another table like this 20 queries are there if you know about SQL if you run this it is pretty self-explanatory so I think it will take a, a bit of a time to run this query so we'll wait for that then we will run that query so now as you can see the query has been executed and these are number of the fields so this is the admin level 4 so if you go to the last column here geometry column and if you click here so it will plot this boundaries also you you will be able to see the geometry of these as you can see here these are the boundaries so now i know this is the level 4 this is my state boundary like this I basically executed for 5, for 6, for 7, 8, 9, 10 is the maximum I think. So that's why I uh, basically had an idea about and also from this source it's quite clear. You do not do not need to run this because I found this source later on. Just for, confirm, for confirming the levels I just ran the query. So if you click here you will get this also. So like this you can run the query here. So now what we'll do, we will basically uh, I will close this query and we will run new query, new, uh, the query for segregating all the tables basically. So OSM India, I will, you have to just click on query tool, just select all and by default we are using this uh, projection is 3857, this is the projection we are using, the data comes directly into this. So just copy paste here and just run this. So it will run like it is saying table emulator I mean, does not right now table does not exist but skipping it will create a new one. So it will take I think half an hour or more than half an hour so it will create uh, it will take some time to create. So what I will do I will cancel it just I will show you what kind of tables you will get like uh, I have given the OSM one I have uh, I ran already this query. So these are the number of tables you will be able to get amenity, boundary, buildings, districts, forest, park, lakes, minor roads, motorway, pedestrian, rails, roads, settlements, states, sub-districts, um, trunk main, primary trunk, water, waterway, and below sub-district means very uh, I think ward level or something kind of levels, uh, boundaries there. So uh, I will cancel this. So you will be able to see after executing this it will take around half an hour. Or maybe more so these you, you will be able to see in the schema called OSM like which I have renamed it to run this code otherwise the schema will be created OSM and inside that tables these 20 tables will be created so I will cancel it I will stop it here I will rename my schema to OSM because of I let me refresh it So you should be able to see so just modify you can modify this query uh, this sql query for your data set and you can run this now after this we have uh, we have basically data inside the data postgres database we have segregated it into the different layers now we will publish it through the geo server so let me close it so now what we'll do inside the geo server i have already published it but i will show you one or two layer how to publish that and how to do that So if you have installed the Geo server, if you have, haven't installed the Geo server, you can go through my video uh, WebGIS development from the scratch and you will be, you can go into the timeline of the video and you will be able to install the Geo server. So if you install the Geo server, you will be able to, after logging, you, you, you can see, you will be able to see this home screen. So first we will create, you, you can create a new workspace. Like I have already created OSM India, but I will create a new one just for the showing purpose. Like I will create simple OSM and you can give any name here. We give www.osm.com and just save it. Now we will create a new store. So now your workspace has been created OSM. Then we'll create a new store here and we'll add new store and just select PostGIS database because we are fetching the data from the PostGIS. Then select the uh, 
workspace from here osm give the data source name let me give osm only and here just uh, you need not to change this to 5433 because i have installed it on 5433 otherwise you can let it be 5432 just you have to give the database so i have database called osm india that schema you have to change like it is taking from public but our schema is osm because my our default schema was os uh, public but after the tables which we have created 20 tables out of that we have created a new schema osm then you have to give the username password of the your database just save it so now you can see all the tables here one by one you can publish this data i will show you for only two three uh, layers accordingly you can publish all the layers and then we'll see how to give the style to it so let me go for this water so we'll click on publish and here you have to either you can change the name here let me give because already water name i have given so you have to change it i will give water one you you do not need to change because i have already published it that's why i am renaming it here the native it is taking this uh, projection is this you can change the projection here according to your need you can give if you want to reproject it to you can uh, give 4326 any projection you can you can give just whatever projection you give here just after that select reproject native to the declare so it will reproject from this to the declared one just you have to select it. if you are changing the projection then you have to do that otherwise you do not need to do anything just let it be 3857 and let it be whatever it is keep native and just you have to click compute compute these two you have to click and after that you have to save it but we have published it but we have not given any style so we'll publish another data then we'll give, show you how to give style to it then we have to click add new layer again because you want to publish one uh, 20 layers like that one by one so you have to go to your like osm osm this is this was my so you have published water so it is even tick here after that uh, let me go for boundary again here same thing you have to give let me i will change this name to one one you don't have to do that because i have already published it. that's why i'm doing this then you can change the position according to your need here then you have to select reproject native to declare but i am not changing it so i will just do like this like this and i will save it okay so like like this you have to do all the layers i will not do i will just do doing it too so for other i will let me go for one more so three layers would be enough i think let me go for trunk main this one that's the primary road again i will look compute for data let me give the name to it one and just save it so now if you go for layer preview you can see, you will be able to see these layers let me show you how it looks sorry this is os boundary one trunk main one so i will click on open layers this one trunk one and then water one so as you can this is the boundary boundary of the india and this is for the roads this is the by default one and this will be the water because data is pretty huge that's why it, it is taking a bit of time so we will see how to handle the data also we'll we, this is for waters so we have not given any style to it so now we will give the style to it so for that before that one thing you have to do so we will be using this by we will not here you can go on the hair styles and you can add a new style but uh, by default there is a xml kind of styling is there like sld file so we will not use that we will use css styling for that we have to install the geo server plugin so just you have to go geo server org and you can go for download like whatever version you have you have to download for that version only so you can go for extension here so we will download the css extension 
but here you have to see one thing you have to select your version like here it is 2.19.1 so i am using this version 2.19.0 i think so that's why i have downloaded for same version if you are using for 2.18.1 exact version you need otherwise it will not run because i initially i i have just downloaded a 2.19 only and so my css styling was not working my user was crashing but for exact uh, version like you can check your exact version from here about geo server if you click so it is 2.19.0 so initially i have i have downloaded for 2.9 is equal to 2.19.1 so that's why i was not able to run it properly so you have to download for exact your version here just click that version like for 2.19.0 this version then I have downloaded here CSS plugin geo server slash GSS plugin zip file. So you can click here, you can, you'll be able to download a zip file. And after that, what you have to do, you have to go wherever your geo server has been installed, just C drive. Like I have uh, basically deployed inside the to Tomcat. If you have installed the .exe file directly, so you have to go inside the geo server folder like this geo server here inside the web INF. And here it is this is library so you have to just put that folder and you have to unzip here all the like uh, let me show you inside the downloads so i think i have already downloaded this you can go and show folder this is the plugin you have to copy this plugin you have to copy this plugin you have to paste inside the geo server web inf library here and you have to just unzip it you have to just unzip extract here you have to click extract here extract here only so it will extract all the files inside it as you can see if you will uh, double click it you will you will be able to see the jar files so here it is so if it asks you to overwrite it let it overwrite it okay and after that you have to restart the juice server once so once you re uh, restart the juice server then you can basically give the styling to it so now we will style it like we have published the three layers similarly you have to publish all the layers one by one then you have to style it so i will show you how to style that so i have already created the styles So we'll, we'll see how to create a style here now. So you just go to the style here and create add new style. So let me give some name to it uh, like trunk. I will give all these styles for all the 20 layers. I will zip it and I will give the link in the description. So you will be able to give, you will just, you have to just copy and paste everything like trunk main. And here you have to format select CSS because after installing the plugin, you will be able to see this one. And then uh, I have to like, this is my OSM trunk main.css file. This you have to control A, control C. Just you have to copy paste here. So this is pretty simple. If you see, this is the font and everything label. This is the scale. Between this scale, your road will look like this. Between this scale and this scale, your road will look like this. So this scale by scale, I'm changing it. You can change the color. According to that, you can modify the scale also. Just validate and you just save here. Okay. Similarly, for I think water, uh, we have published boundary. So let me go for boundary. Okay. And uh, where is my boundary style? Let me check. Okay, this one is my boundary CSS. Let's just copy. I will copy paste here. And just select the format CSS and just save it. And third one was I think water. So I will give the SLD file, uh, basically CSS file for all the layers. So one by one only you have to 
create new style and you have to save it this is my osm water it's a pretty simple one just create a new one water just select the format css here and control v validate and save so for all 20 layers you have to give the css i will give the file in uh, i will zip the file css file and i'll give the link in the description you can download and you have to create 20 styles like this then again you have to go back to your layers and you have to go that particular layer for which you want to give the style i think this is for water so in you have to go publishing tab now and here you have to select this default style you have to change you can just select water this one just save it okay now go for another layer or three layers like one by one you have to change the style for either you can create a style first then while publishing only you can give the styles then trunk main go to publishing tab know what name are you yeah trunk main so these many styles are different scale it you will be able to see just save it then another layer was uh, i don't know which one boundary i think yes this one is boundary go to publishing tab again and just select uh, boundary before boundary this is boundary and just save it now if you refresh and you preview the layer again so now this is for water boundary water layer it is in blue color like this and this is for boundary gray color and we have given the gray color and this is for roads so when you zoom it more and more roads will come up and it will change the colors like this if you zoom more like this so like this you have to give for different different basically for all the layers you have to give this kind of okay so i'll close all this so already what i have done basically as you can see so many layers are there below sub district boundary buildings districts forest park if you click on forest park already i have given the color motorway pedestrian rails settlements everything i have given already so now like this this is a forest park so after publishing all the 20 layers now we'll you have to create a layer group you create here layer group you will group all this layer into one then create add new layer group you can create any layer group i will give just any name group give the title let me give group so i have already created a layer group i'll just show you how to add that and just you can select the uh, like os and this one <coughs> okay you can generate bounds after one first you have to add layers here you can select the workspace because only those layers will be visible like add layer so you'll be able to see only three but if I select my uh, earlier which I have created OSM India so you you can see add layer all the layers so one by one you have to add this here only so I'll show you for one two only for this earlier one only for three layers like OSM I will add layer so I have created basically the ascending and descending order of this also i will show you what it should look like so i will give the snapshot of uh, here i will attach this also so basically you have to in this order only you have to add inside a layer group otherwise uh, the the base map will not look good so there is certain order in which you have to add the layer inside the layer group so let me add another layer such as uh, 
trunk mean then let me add another layer water this is the order so first boundary forest park water like this only <coughs> this order only you have to do the so boundary is the lowest one this first means it is in the bottom then forest park over it then water then lake the state so like this you have to do this order only so this is the bottom one this is the first one so like this 20 layer you have to add like i have shown only for three layers okay let me just make it over this so i'll just show you how it look like for three only just save it okay field bounds we have not created so after adding it you have to just create here generate bound so it will create the bound bounds of that now save it so now if you go for layer groups here and you go to layer preview now so you should be able to see at the end layer group so this is the group osm group just go on open layers so why it is taking too much of time because the data is for three layers only data is that much huge if you see for 20 layers it will take too much of time so as you can see now this layer has been grouped but it will take a too much of time to load so your geo server will definitely crash so we'll see how to make it a very fast rendering so we'll see how to do that so after you create the group according to these layers 20 layers i'll show you how to do that so i'll go for layer group again so this group i have already created test one here test test i have added all the layers here one thing what you have to do here there is an option called tile caching this is tile caching so for that uh, uh, what you have to do tile cache you have to enable the create a cache layer you have to check this so see, if i cancel this i have already created a cache so that's why it is saying so you have to create a cache layer you have to check this just you have to select only one here image png two will be selected by default and here you have to create a grid set like right now i will delete this grid set because by default only two grid sets are there for 4326 projection 9093 so for 3857 we have to create a new grid set so what i will do i will delete the grid set which i have already created this i have already this, this, these these all are by default which I, I i am not able to basically select so this i have created ephd 3857 but i will create a new grid set for you so if you are using the 4326 projection this one on 9093 no need to create a new grid set but if you are using a different one so you have to create like i will create a new grid set i will give it name 3857 okay you have to give the coordinate system here i will select here otherwise you can find your projection here for whatever projection you are creating grid set whatever projection you are using in your layer just type 3587 this your pseudo marketer you have to select this this one then compute the maximum maximum one just do not select it just you have to add zoom level here after that skill denominator or anything like add this just from level 0 zoom 2 3 so up to 25 you have to create 25 26 3 4 5 6 7 8 here you can see the scale 9 10 11 12 13 14 you just see the scale here it's 34000 so up to 20 or something we have to go at full scale basically 2000 1000 21 22 23 24 so we have created 24 let me create one more so basically what it will do this uh, geo tile caching what it do basically it will create the tiles and it will store in a in a basically memory in your machine and whenever you overlay you basically get the request from the server it will give the tiles so every time it will not create tiles it will create tiles it will store in a machine directly it will send that, those tiles so the basically fetching will be very fast so we are creating tiles already so this projection there is no already for 900913 projection and 4326 already grid sets are it geo server has grid sets but for other projection suppose you want to use utm44 so you have to create a grid set for that so then after that you have to give a name here some name i have given 3857 you can give any name okay let me give epg something name 
PG. I will give this name. Just you have to select this projection from here. You have to find that projection. Compute this one. And if you are using 43290, no, no need to do that. Already your server has defined that you have to add the zoom level to. Then you have to save it. So now in the grid side, as you can see, you have two one EPSG and this. Otherwise, you cannot delete because by default for this Google has created. Okay. So as you can see in my earlier one, already 53 MB it has used. So it has created 53 MB of tiles of my open street data. So like this, it is zero right now. Zoom level 26. So after you have created the uh, grid set, and uh, then you have to do again, you have to go back to the layer groups. You have to select the test and you have to go to the your layer group where you have added all the layers like this. You have to go to the tile caching and here you have to check this create a cache layer for this group, enable caching. Let it be 4 by 4 just select the PNG file. Then you have to add here EPSG. Let me remove this. Grid set you have to select here. Let me select EPSG 3857. You can create this. You can select this also. This one. Whatever grid set you have created. Add here. And this is the public zoom layer minimum maximum cache. Let it be like this only. And then you can save. Now you go to tile caching. So now you can see here, this is basically those many lines already tile caching are there. This is OSM India 53 MB already has been stored. Your OSM group for those three layers, it has created zero. So what I'll do, I'll remove everything. I'll show you how to do that again. I will remove all the cache. Just remove. So there is no cache layer right now. Again, I will do it. So for few of you, what will happen if you when you click on tile layers, you will not you will not be able to see this. Some error will come definitely because in my case also it happened. So when I, whenever I clicked on tile layers, the error happened. So what you have to do for that inside the Geo server folder, data folder, and here it is. Uh, sorry, data, GWC layers here you you will be having some files just you have to delete those files you have to make this folder empty so after that you just restart the geo server when you click on tile layers you should be able to see like this empty one so again we'll, i'll go to the layer group just for the showing purpose i am doing this the test this layer group these are the layers then tile caching after the tile caching like this is empty right now then create a cache layer for this group enable everything just uncheck this jpeg and remove uh, all these and select epsg 3587 just add it here and just save it so now if you click here tile layers so now this this come here okay and if you click here you can preview it don't preview it from the layer preview like here now layer preview here will be on the default wms so that will be very slow but if you preview from here, as you can see, this is from GWC demo, Geo Web Cache. So how quickly it is loading, as you can see now. See, pretty quickly it is loading. So what it is doing? First time it will take some time in your case. So whichever region you will you will zoom in, so it will create a tile of that. It will store in the machine. So once you have basically zoomed into every portion of the uh, base map. So it have create it will create a tiles for that it will store in a file machine and it will directly give that to the basically uh, it will it will, it will give the data to the basically to the client side so like this very quickly it is as you can see but if you go for same layer if I go for this layer preview directly I'll show you this is my layer group test OSM India test. So it will take some time. It may not take that much time because I have loaded several times. But as you can see, it is still loading, loading. It will take too much of time. So as you can see, but here, so I'll close this. Here, as you can see, just if you refresh it, if you go this one, this one. So how quickly it is loading. 
so this is style caching so if you have very huge data so you can use this style caching for loading your data pretty quickly these are the zoom levels and all so as you can see now so this is basically this whole thing will be you can read this i will give the link so using this also you you will be able to if you follow this you will be able to do this kind of use tile caching and all so now thing is this now you you uh, you are able to do that but now if you want to basically use this base map in your web gis how to do that because you, it's not a simple web, wms service it is wms tile service so wm wms t service so you have to use we have to use that so we'll see how to do that so i think our map looks like a bit like google up google uh, map so i have not taken only point data so further what you can do you can uh, overlay the point data at, uh, over this and you can give the different symbols because i did not have the symbols and markers for particular like hospitals and schools and everything otherwise i would have done that also like in case of google maps if you see the data if you on the labels so you will see lot of this markers and all so you can do that also further so let me now close this and we will see how to use this in your web gis application so like this is the web gis html page which i have created in that i will switch switch off all the overlays okay so these are my base map this is my basic osm it is coming from the internet as you can see this is the satellite this is also coming from the internet and this is none no base map and this is osm india this is coming from my geo server and it is loading quite fast as you can see data is used but it still it is loading very fast so you can basically change the disk quota of the data also like if you click on the disk quota here it, you can maximum tile cache size 50 gb is there you can change this basically and it is showing 53 mb only i am using out of 50 gb so like this you can increase this quota also of the cache tiles now let me show you how to use this basically in the web gis so this is a simple html page test.html i will share i will give the link of this also and just you like for simple what uh, for the simple wms what we do we'll give like this new oval layer dot image image wms like this we give india state geo server wms like this and we will add it directly but for this tile one what you can do we have to use as you can see here you have to use wm wmts service so here the uh, when you click here on this tile layers this one so you can go on the view page source view page source here here few things you have to copy from here like this grid names and this resolution so here what you have to do first you have to define the projection so projection is ol.porg.get eps3857 then if we are getting the extent from like projection extent we will get projection dot got get extent we will get the extent of this then map extent so this map extent you can copy from that source where where is the extent let me check here it is this is the extent of the map you have to copy this extent from there okay and uh, then matrix level i am basically i am using this matrix id is new array 26 array basically the zoom level of 26 so either what you can do you can directly copy from here this this scales grid names epsg 0 1 2 3 these thing you can see from here you can go to the grid sets and you just click here epsg 3857 which you have created so these are the names 0 1 2 like this 25 so what i have done basically i have created a array of it 
and zero to twenty six means this one only. Actually, zero to twenty. Sorry, this is the twenty five level. So zero to twenty six I have given, and then I have stored it to a array. E P S G colon. This Z is zero one two three. So this only. Then this is the resolution that also you have to copy from that source. This source, this resolution, just copy this whole row. This resolution, just copy from there. And this is how you write it: new overlayer dot tile. You just give any name to it. Type base if you want to make it a base layer. Then give type base. So you will be able to. Uh, basically see like this inside the base otherwise you can make it overlay also so if you if you remove the type base so it will come into the overlays then you have to give the source ol source dot wmts here you have to give because we are using the wmts service of the geo server if you go to the home let me show you so we are using this one wmts service this service of The Geo Server, and here you have to give the lower uh, layer name OSM India colon test. This is the same layer. If you go for layer group, uh, you'll find the name here. Uh, layer preview. If you go the third page, this is this is OSM slash test. This is the layer group. You have to give that name. Then matrix set is EPG three eight five seven. that you have to give this is the name of the basically nothing whatever name which we have given to the grid set this is epsg 3857 this name this is the name only and uh, finally the projection is already you have defined this projection then tile grid is tile grid wmts you have only this extent you have to origin of the extent so what it has done is it they will get top left of the projection extent so this projection extent is getting the top left corner resolutions means this resolutions and matrix ids means this matrix ids either you can take this matrix ids directly from this page uh, this page from here you can copy this whole and you could copy paste that there and after that just you have to create a layer over layer group and here you have to add tile into the base map if you want to make in that into the overlay just delete from here and make it a type base just comment this and add that into the overlays here let me show you this is my page i will remove it so now it it has been removed from this this one and osm india is here as you can see so now it has come into the overlays It is not base now, so it depends on you what you want to do. You want to add in the base map or let it be. I will let it be into the base. So that's how you can create your own OSM base map and you can publish it on the web GIS. So if so, so if, uh, I'll show you one more thing also. If you want to from the scratch, you want to see, I'll show you how to do that. How to add? How to create a page? a uh, simple page using the open layers I'll, i'll show you that also let me show you web apps base this folder i created okay let me go to the vs code you can use any code editor i will use the vs code editor here so now this is my uh, basically just you have to select the folder here i have already selected the folder base here and you can create a open folder you can click here let me go for the folder base okay Select select folder only. So this is the now I will create a files one I will create index dot html. Then I will create one. I will create one more file index dot js. And I will create one for CSS file map dot CSS. Okay. Now first we'll go to index html. We'll define the simple html html. file so i will change this something to let me go for base map sm okay now we will import we will use open layer so we will import either you can download the open layer library uh, library from the 
and you can store it in your machine and you can give the link otherwise what you can do i'll show you here just to go on the open layers uh, website you can directly call the library from the just click here i think quick start let me copy this Just import this styling of it. Then you will import the JavaScript .js file also. All the functions of the open layers. Otherwise, one more thing you can do if you don't want to use from internet because you have to switch on the internet for running this. You can download the open layers from the web here, and you can put it inside that base folder only here, and you can give the link directly from. This is done now. So we'll create one CSS. Uh, we'll import this map.css also. So I will click link CSS. So I will give the name map.css because this is will import the styling of this also. And finally, inside the body, we'll create a new div. Uh, let me write on this one. Okay. ID is equal to map. I will give this map ID. So this is my now I have created HTML element div name div. In this style, we will write here dash map. Enter. We'll give the position. I will give it absolute. Then we'll give the width. Let me give hundred percent width of the map. Then we'll give the height hundred percent of that. So this we have defined. We have given the styling to the map. With this, have hundred percent height is hundred percent. Now we will so script src. This is we'll import script src. We will import this the index dot js. This is index.js. So we have imported as map.css here. This index.js. Now this is our HTML page. We have imported the CSS file of open layers, JavaScript file of the open layers, all the functions. Then map.css. This one, the index.js. Now we will write the code here. So we create a variable. Um, let me give view first. New file dot. Okay. Well, dot view then to give bracket curly brackets then you have to define two three things here projection Then you have to give the center of the map. Here you have to give the latitude longitude. I am giving the India latitude longitude. Then you have to give the zoom level. Then we give five. So this is my view. Now we create a map where map is equal to. New OOL map. Okay. A map bracket curly brackets. Here we have to define. I think uh, view. This view is the view only which we have defined earlier. Here view. Target basically on which element we want to render the map. Target map means inside this HTML which we have given. This ID is equal to map. So we are giving that. So we have a folder inside. This is my base folder. Inside we have index.html, index.js, index.map.css. So now we will save it and we will try to run this. So 
so here i have to change this because i am running in the local dash base okay that i have to change only now again i have to run this so now as you can see after running it you will be able to see 8080 this is actually it is index html that's why i am not making it so you will be able to see plus minus means zoom in zoom out your map has been rendered now okay so again if you launch it so here only you have to modify because by default it is taking 08080 so otherwise directly also you can write here index.html so this is my page inside this is page inside my tomcat so web apps base so local hosts 8082 my tomcat has been installed so i am calling this index.html page directly so if you load this directly so this is my map zoom in zoom in button are there but there is no layer now we will add the layer so what i will do i will simply copy all those this thing so now we will copy our this layer which i have already shown you earlier shown you so just you have to copy this here and just save it and we will try to run it okay one thing we have to do because we have not created any base layer kind of thing so we have to comment this because otherwise you have to create a layer group base layer group then you have to add like in this one we have created a layer group title base map so now i think it should let me run for index.html and uh, i have to sorry i forgot to map dot add layer map add layer Tiled. Now, if you, you can see now, so that's how you can put your uh, this your base map on any WebGIS application. So let me check if I uncomment this base. So whether it is possible to do that or not? Yeah, you are able to do. So that's how you will you can add. So you can see my earlier videos and you can you can get that HTML page but just you have to add this line you can publish your data you have to add these many lines only and you have to map dot add layer either you push it into the base layers or you push into the overlays that depends on you so what I will do basically I will I will give these HTML files all the CSS files styling files which I have shown you so I will give those styling files I will give you the link of uh, the data also from where you can download the OSM data from the post GIS from where you can download the post GIS SQL post GIS and all the styles which I have given inside the geo server I will give the link of that so you can download from uh, from there and you can publish your layer inside the geo server so these all are the CSS files all the 20 layers So thank you guys. Thanks for watching. That's it from this video. I hope you liked the video and it will be useful for you. So to subscribe this channel, give a thumbs up to the video if you like the, if you like the video and also please share this video to your colleagues and friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching.